Whoa, it was the best of times. He was the greatest badass paragon of justice ever. H A T, the hero of all trades. Hat Man. His unique power? The ability to transform into any superhero there ever was, complete with every one of their powers and skills. See, he wasn't just one superhero, he was all of them. Studly, handsome, a sparkling smile that could blind four, no, five sons. He combated crime, fought evil, saved the earth, because it was his job. With that came fame, medals, honors, keys to cities, women, lots of women, and rewards, cash rewards. Oh yeah, man, it was Fat City, until simultaneously, it was the worst of times. See, Hatman's arch nemesis was the villainous brain-switching Lamine. Then, this purple sicko psycho bitch ho turd funnel fiend? Well, he turned government witness, ratted out all his fellow evil super cronies, got to keep his lovely brain collection, along with his cheer pets, and disappeared into cozy suburban protective custody. Scrapbooks, feng shui, din din, finger bowls, property brothers, all on the taxpayer's dime. And you know what? He loved it. It was a season of darkness. Hat Man was left hanging in the wind. No super criminals meant his crime-fighting paydays. Boom, dried up. He squandered all his money. He went broke. Then the feds nailed him with whopping bills and fines for, quote, battle damages, close quote. And worse, that sleazy bunghole louse Lamind Jesus, he stole his wife. So Hats packed in the hero gig, pawned most of his power giving artifacts, filed chapter 11. Balls deep in debt, he hoard his story. He wrote a book, The Superhero's Life. Self-serving yarns exposing the uh, hero game. Ooh, tawdry tales, naming names. Real tell-all trash, but what the hell? guy needed the Mazuma, right? It was a season of light. With book sale advances, he opened a neighborhood bar, Hat Man's Hangout. It wasn't much, just a place for down-on-their-luck ex-superheroes and cash-carrying fanboys. Thank you, folks. A dingy dive, really, but it worked. Made ends meet. Paid the bills. I'll tell you what, it was not an age of wisdom. Then, Disguised in a crappy toupee and goatee, Lamind slimed out from hiding in witness protection, spitefully opened a hippo bar across the street, Club McMines, to drive Hatman into bankruptcy. And who knows, maybe even make himself a little rich? And as if that weren't complicated enough, it was an age of foolishness. There's Hatman's ex-wife, Nicole, the former super-powered super-spy, a.k.a. Lady Beret. She ditched hats when the superhero biz went belly up. Ran off to marry government-supported Lamind. But that pill garlic prig is way cheap. He snores. He has bad gas. Suburb life drives Nicole cray-cray. She's now become a bitter bitch from hell. So, Hatman is starting to look pretty good to her again. Ah, but there is a catch. There always is, right? Lamine's superpowered daughter, Mickey, happens to be Hatman's shape shifting squeeze. Mickey calls herself Young Lady Beret. <laughs> Just to piss off a stepmom, Nicole, and it works. It was a spring of hope. Mickey works at the hangout every day. Screws Hatman silly. But come on, he's middle aged, creaky knees, out of shape. Comb over, little paunchy. Needs his last artifact just to, you know, satisfy her. It's all tough enough. But then there's Hat Man and Nicole's hunky superhero son, Alex, AKA Kid Fedora. Yeah, I know, there's a hat thief. 
Alex has his dad's identity changing powers. He also has designs on Mickey's uh, attentions. Hatman tries to keep up, bless him, but he really needs his naps. Mega, oh, hats. It was a winter of despair. And all those super villains that LeMind ratted out, well, they're now getting out on parole. Crime is once again beginning to run rampant as the super crims gun for payback on LeMind and to kick his pimpled periwinkle butt. So LeMind needs to hire Hatman for help. The big mook doesn't want any part of it. I'm sure he still has powers, <sighs> sort of. Could have more if he raised the money to unhock all his power artifacts. Then the feds turn up the heat on the former hero. It's sweat equity crime fighting for Slammer Town. With few choices, Hatman decides to suck it up. I'm back. To look past all the shit, make this his second act, and, with any luck, regain his former glory and profits. Well, it's not a far, far better thing than he has ever done. So, Hatman is back. Once again, battling super villains, serving justice and humanity, squeezed by the feds, trying to keep his bar afloat, conned into helping Lamine being fought over by Nicole and Mickey as his own son, Alex. Bird dogs his young lady friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In his glory days, Hatman's superhero mantra was, let justice be done. But now, Hats has a new motto. Make crime pay, and in cash. Hatman, the ultimate dysfunctional superhero family comedy adventure series. Wickedly cutting edge humor for late night primetime viewers. By Gang of Seven Animation. Can't help love.